everyone. Welcome to Curse Guns of Tarkov, episode three. Today we have the one tap VPO. This thing looks like a proper sniper. It's pretty badass and kind of looks futuristic with that butt stock. What's interesting is since you don't have a mag in it, it's a real skinny boy when it's in your inventory. It's only a one by five, which is kind of funny. The ammo we're going to be using today is APM rounds. They're very strong. They do 90 flesh damage and can one tap level four armor. So you can imagine how much damage you can do with this thing. The scope we're going to be using today is pretty weird. It's called a KMZ 1P59. I've never seen anybody legitimately use it, but it's a 3X 10X and change magnification is tied to the scope color. So you're having to change magnification three extra times to get to the setting you want. I'm also going to be using a canted delta point for that close quarter combat. And if you haven't realized by now, I'm not using a magazine. So this thing's not called a one tap VPO because I'm going to be one tapping everybody. It's called a one tap VPO because I only have one shot and I have to run away and chamber another. So essentially, it's like a slow bolt action, which makes things pretty interesting. If you guys are liking Curse Guns of Tarkov or any of my other content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more of it pop up on your feed. And thank you to those that are already subbed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Like I mentioned before, killing people with these AP rounds is not gonna be an issue. So using this gun like a sniper or a bolt action sniper is no problem at all if I'm set up in the correct position. Killing somebody shouldn't be that difficult. It gets interesting though when you get in close quarters and you have one shot and you have to get it right or things can get ugly. When I did hit the one taps, it felt really nice, but when I didn't, things got really ugly really fast. But since it was never my intention to sit around with this gun, I was gonna have to chance some losses to get those nice clips. My man's laying down up there. <laughs> okay, sounds like we got some fights, maybe Stronghold. Looky here. I'm pretty sure that was a player. At least it looked like it. I need to get involved. This is good timing. in front. Dude, there's so many people here right now. Is that a player? That's a player right there. Oh, I fucking whiffed. terrible spot right now. Fight still going on in Stronghold as well. They are going nuts over here. Steps to my right. Oh, I'm so dead. Uh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> that could have gone poorly. Fuck, there's more. I think he's crawling underneath. He is. Please juice. Two of them. He's dead. Stronghold is shooting at this dude. That dude might have just saved me up there. Oh. He's hurt. There's somebody repairing over here. Oh god, this is bad. No! <laughs> Fuck. Oh! <laughs> I did kill three, <laughs> holy shit. Oh my god, that's awesome. So I was extremely satisfied with how that raid went. Even though I didn't survive, I still killed a few people while using the scope and up close with the canted sight. But if you've seen the other episodes, I usually need to get a raid where I get some kills with the gun and survive to really finish the challenge with the gun. So that's exactly what I planned on doing. Okay, I think I'm going to hit the bridge and see if I can catch anybody while they're crossing. Oh god! Forgot to load the goddamn gun, oh my god. God, that's the worst feeling. Alright, maybe I could still catch him on the bridge. I'm gonna go to old construction and see if I can get an angle on him. Yep, he's still there. I have no idea if I just hit him. It's hard to tell with this bullet velocity on this round. Oh my god, fucking scabs. They're gonna kill me. Stop it, you. What the hell gun is that? Someone's flanking in the containers. Oh hell, this is about to get messy. Oh shit. Okay, if they're fighting, it seems like there's like at least three teams in the area. Fuck, he's flanking on this guy. I'm right in between two players.
Fuck, I missed. Timing though. <laughs> I was in the perfect bush. Other dudes coming back right now. Ooh, not like this. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty nasty. Alright, I think I should be clear to loot. Okay, nice. This is the suppressed AKM guy from earlier. So he must have just flanked around. Pretty good stuff. Nice scope, too. Alright, this is the guy they killed right before I fought with them. I never even heard this dude shoot, so... I don't know where he came from. Let me double check this guy. Yeah, he didn't have much, which makes sense why I was able to snap on him, but I'll still take it. All right, I think it's time to get out of here, boys. So despite the fact that I had to chamber each round in this gun, I think it's my most successful cursed gun video so far. It was actually a lot of fun to use and it forced me to play very specifically. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. See you guys on the next one.